So today I'm going to talk about Alpha Investments video, Investors Give Up. And in this video, he is talking about flesh and blood, promoting flesh and blood again, and a big whale flesh and blood player with a lot of these Black Lotus cards, if you will, with these green gems, I forget what they're called, Heart of Kandor or something. Um, he obviously goes to Rudy Chan, sells all of his collection, his high-end collection, some of the cards apparently Rudy didn't even own until now. And investors give up. Yeah. The investors are not something good for the hobby, guys. The investors are actually very bad for the hobby. They buy Modern Horizons and Modern Horizons, they spike the price. So instead of getting Modern Horizons for a decent price, because the investors are buying all of them, and then storing them and not opening them, you actually paid more, if you did get a box, you paid more money for the box on the secondary market, uh, but the large majority of people couldn't get a box at a good price. That's what investors do. They, you know, it's kind of like Wall Street. If you look at what happened in 2008 with the collateral debt obligation, CDOs, they created new devices, which are the same. What does Wall Street produce? Do they produce alcohol? Nope. Do they produce clothing? Nope. Corn? Nope. They produce financial vehicles for other people to put their money in. And then regardless of how the vehicle does, they take a fee. That is Wall Street summarized. So with a CDO to the mortgages and so on, the ninja, right? No job, no income. And you here's a loan for a million dollars. Oh, you want 10 homes? Hey, you know, you don't have a job. You don't have any income. Hey, we'll give you that loan. Hey, you, you are a blank blank on a blank list and you can't be around any school. Hey, we'll build you a school. You want that? We'll build you a school in the backyard. So the idea of this financial institute and then what the reason that these CDOs, which were incredibly toxic at all times, it wasn't something that became toxic. It was always toxic. You know, when you have, I mean, imagine living in a neighborhood where you're the only one who pays a mortgage and everyone else is using, leveraging their home to get their 10th vacation home. Right? That would be insane. You're, you're driving a Honda Civic, everyone's in Lambos, right? It's kind of like PPP loan period, which we just had. So, Investors do not add very much. You could say, oh, they grease the oils, they make sure commerce happens. Okay, how? So if you're an investor and you buy a thousand boxes of Modern Horizons from Rudy Chan, or if you're Rudy Chan and you have a thousand boxes of this or that, 10,000 boxes are Weiss, and you just stored it, how are you liquidating commerce? The, 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 uh, the, the item, you took the item out of out of commerce, you kept them in a warehouse. I don't see how that's going to benefit anybody who plays the game. If all, if that anything, what you're doing is you're trying to pump it by showing people oh, I have such a big standing in it, so you can be, you too can invest in Card Five Vanguard. It's not a bad thing for investors to give up. I think that's my main takeaway for you guys. Yes, investors will give up and the only people will be left or, you know, will be collectors. I'm having a great time opening packs. Every single night, I'm opening 50 to $100 of packs every night. You probably have seen it or some type of random product. And you know why? Because the mother effing Vivid Voltage isn't $12 a pack anymore. It's two ten. It's $2.10 for a loose pack. Imagine the same cards. I mean, it could actually be the same pack to be God honest with you. It would actually be the same mother effing pack. So a pack that was, you know, a year ago was $12 or two years ago was $12 has lost all its value to be $2. I don't want to open a $12 pack. I want to open a $2 pack because you know what? I can open six $2 packs for every $12 pack because I'm a collector. I like opening, you know how many, so I don't know if you guys stuck around for that live stream. I think it was over three hours. I opened so much Fusion Strike, one of the worst sets in history, trying to chase my Espeon, my alter, alternative art 
VMAX Espeon, which is one in every 1,444 packs. And I hit it. I would never have that opportunity if those packs cost $12, okay? Because it would have cost me six times more to have that fun experience. I'm grateful I had that experience because it was really fun. We did it live stream. You can watch the recap. It was a great fun time for everybody, for all 10 people on the live stream. I don't want investors in Pokemon. I do not want investors in Magic. I don't want these people with hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in sealed boxes no one will ever open. I like to open my product. I've already said this. I open a shit ton of product off camera all the time. I have the largest Fire Emblem collection, now I can say this, in all of America and maybe even Japan, where the game is from Japan. And I only had to recently stop buying, you know, 100 boxes every other weekend uh, because then Amazon, I bought so many boxes, Amazon said you can't buy no more boxes. Which is okay because FedEx lost my boxes anyway. I mean, so anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a complicated story, which I would tell in live stream sometime. But why, if investors leave, why is that bad for us? If we're left, we're obviously collectors. So like when you have a vivid voltage, when you have a Pokemon pack and it's $12 a pack, that's bad for me. Because I didn't at that point, you know, what, and I buy it for $12, what can I really do with it? I don't want to open it because it's $12. But if it's $2.10, which is what I'm paying per Pokemon pack now, I mean, why not? Like, why not open it? You know, and then this, this kind of, I'm happy product is A, available, and product can be opened again. And every single night, I'm gonna, you know, even if I don't live stream, when I live stream, we go three hours of open.